Well, it has been a long time since the last time that I have reviewed any products on this channel, and today we're going to be actually doing just that. We're going to be talking about this new antenna. This is called the Spultenna, made by KO4HUI, and we're reviewing it today on KF5 IRE Ham Radio. Again guys, this is the Spultenna, an antenna made by KO4HUI, a ham out of Raleigh, North Carolina. And I gotta say, just holding this thing in my hands for the first time, this thing is super freaking awesome. Fits completely in your hand and it's just got really a, just a, such a small form factor. And so the way we acquired this was actually Jeremy K5TXY, off duty ham radio, go check out his channel. He purchased this today at Dayton Hamvention. They were set up out at the flea market. They're a flea market vendor this year. I guess just hoping to maybe make it into the commercial vendor market next year as they continue to make more of these and sell more of these. I think they're they're flying off the shelves so far, it seems like. And just by looking at this thing just for the first time, I can tell why. Again, it's, it's really good build quality. It's pretty much all aluminum, the entire body of it. And it's got a uh, four millimeter banana plug there. This is actually what your radiating element attaches to. You just plug it in there. It makes disconnect of the uh, radiating element super fast and easy also it has a three millimeter i believe there's a three millimeter hole and you can stick a pin inside of there this is actually one of the spool tenna pins that we got from fdim first days in may uh, a few days ago they were out there at the uh, little qrp event there so you can just kind of stick the pin through there and just use that as a uh, axle and wind the antenna up to deploy it or to retract it back in. So that's really a cool feature. And then also it has these holes up here where you can uh, use it to help mount the antenna when you deploy the antenna as well. And then it comes with strain release on both ends made of paracord on the antenna side. And then when you are hanging it in the tree as well. So really, again, this is just a super cool antenna. And then it also has bongo ties that it comes with as well to hold all this stuff together and just keep it all bound up in there. So what is the radiating element actually made of? It's made of about 60 feet or so of 20 gauge silicone insulated wire. And it's really looking at the silicone wire, it's pretty good quality wire just from the looks of it and the feel of it. Again, this is a really well built antenna and I think it's gonna last us quite a long time. It's a infed half wave. It's works 10 meters all the way down to 40 meters but i don't know what the ratio is of the tool ride i couldn't find any kind of documentation on that it wasn't in the box or anything like that but moving into what's in the box when you get it of course you get the spool tenna itself but inside you also get a field test report of the antenna with the matching serial number so this is the field test results from the antenna that is built from the factory. They supply this with all the antennas that they make. So every single antenna is guaranteed to be tested before it leaves the factory. And it also tells you what the date of test was. This one was made, or this one was tested rather on April 27th of this year. Also tells you what the height of the antenna was at testing and rating element in height, about six feet, SWR 1.5, uh, or less on all bands, yes. And it tells you again, the serial number of the spool tenna that they gave you. Also inside the box, you get the owner's manual as well and a quick start guide to go with it as well. So I think now that we have the spool tenna out and gone through all the stuff with you, just all the details about this antenna, what do you guys say we get this thing set up and get on the air and test it out? All right guys, I am now over here at the mast and first things we're gonna do here is we're gonna pop off the little bongo tie here. We're gonna just throw that on the ground because you know, we like to do that and possibly lose things for later that we may need. First things first to deploy this antenna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clip the antenna to the top of my mast. And really, I'm just gonna kinda roll this thing out here. Well, I also have the handy pin as well, so I could use that. I'm just gonna stick the uh, pin through there and I'm just gonna reel this thing out to about where I want it to go, which is gonna be over here in this tree right here or whereabouts. It's probably gonna go a little bit long and I'm gonna go off camera for a second here, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna set the wire winder down here. And they told us at the table today, it should take all in all about two minutes or so, minus the time to set up your mast to get this thing up and going. So I'm gonna raise up the mast, locking each element out. 
of the mast. And boom, we've now got vertical elevation on our antenna. So I just kind of walk this out a little bit and I probably went a little bit, no, thought I went a little bit too far maybe, but I didn't. So what we do is we, hopefully you guys can still see me, connect the uh, banana clip to the banana clip hole. And then uh, really all I'm gonna do at this point is leave the antenna dangling and then take the strainer leaf and put it through the tree. And then the antenna just kind of hangs from the tree, putting a little bit of strain on the uh, banana clip plug, but I'm not really too concerned about that. It's pretty tough, pretty durable banana clip. And then we're just gonna hook our BNC up and we're ready to get on the air. So let's start uh, before it gets too late. I think we'll start at uh, 10 meters and do some hunting. So this is the SWR on 10 meters. It's about a two to one. Well, I think maybe it was more of a one, 1.7 to one. 1.7 to one, let's double check it again. Yeah, about a 1.7 to one, which is uh, pretty much around what was actually advertised for this antenna. So uh, not too bad there. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it too. Just didn't hear anything on uh, 10 meters, so we're gonna start around 40 meters, I guess. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo, park to park. Yeah, Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo. I got it. Kilo on India 5, India Romeo Echo. Go ahead, what's your name? And your, what, give me your park first. Yeah, my park number is US1940, US 1940, and my name is Chase. Here in uh, Caesar Creek State Park, I've got you a 5-9 into my park. Yeah, Roger, Chase. What state are you in, buddy? I'm in Ohio. Okay, Chase in Ohio, 5-9 in Connecticut. <laughs> Upstate New York. I'm in upstate New York in the Finger Lakes, Chase. Park 6532. Since you're a park to park, I can give you a club call. Are you ready to copy? Uh, yes, I am. Club call. Whiskey One, Charlie Whiskey Alpha. That's Whiskey One, Charlie Whiskey Alpha. Same park, Chase. 6532, buddy. Copy, copy. So I got Whiskey Victor One Whiskey and Whiskey One Charlie Whiskey Alpha. QSL? I do, I do. Roger, Roger. Didn't know since you're not in my log, I didn't know if you've uh, been around for a while. 7-3, Chase, good to hear you. 7-3, and I got a second operator as well. Uh, sorry, I double with you, Chase. You're 10 over. Thanks, buddy. It's second operator, second operator. Second operator, go ahead. Whiskey Victor 1, Whiskey, and Whiskey 1, Whiskey, Charlie Alpha. This is Kilo 5, Tango X-Ray, NK K5, TXY. Name is Jeremy, same park, 19, U.S. 1940. Caesar Creek State Park, uh, just south of Dayton, Ohio, out here celebrating a little bit of ham, uh, ham fest. Okay, very good, Jeremy. We got you, and uh, we got uh, we got kilowatt five Tango X-ray Yankee QSL. QSL, QSL, and your solid five nine here in Ohio. Kilo India five India Romeo Echo. Kilo Kilo India five India for the Romeo Echo QSL. QSL. Got you 59 plus 60 here at a US 1940 as well. Roger, Roger, long distance to the XA. Thank you, much. 73. Have a good night. 73 and stand by for a second off. Kilo 5, Tango X Ray Yankee. QSL, correction on the call, Kilo 5, Tango X-Ray Yankee, K5, TXY, 5-9 in the 1940. Roger, the correction, K5, TXY, this is Victor Kilo 4, Charlie Juliet, portable Victor Whiskey 8, 5-9, thanks for 9, 7 3. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo, got you 5-9, 5-9, Chase, into US 1940, and I have 11 total ops, QSL. QSL, I got you 5-9 into US 1940 as well. Roger, Roger, do you have my ops or you need them? I got all of them. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. You have a great activation that we just made for you, and you're having a good one, buddy. <laughs> 
Thank you, 73, and stand by, I got a second op. The second operator is Kilo 5 Tango X-Ray Yankee. K5 TXY, same park, same signal report. Thanks for uh, that easy activation. Y'all have fun out there, 73. So that was a little unexpected. We just activated the parking record time uh, roughly about six minutes or so, six or seven minutes. Uh, we're not gonna stop though. We're not gonna shortchange this antenna that much. We're gonna show what this antenna really can actually do. Park to park. Uh, go ahead, park to park. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo. QSL, QSL, got you 5-9, also into US 1940 as well. Okay, very good. Yeah, uh, thanks for uh, making a contact. Thank you, 73, and stand by for second op. Oh, second op, okay, will do. Second op is Kilo 5 Tango X-Ray Yankee, K5 TXY, same park, same signal report, same campsite. Thanks for being out there as well, and enjoy your night in 73s. Park to park. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo, 5-9 into US 7850. Copy, 5-9 uh, uh, into 7850. I'm uh, five, uh, got you 5-9 five, and 1940, just up the road. Roger, roger. Thanks for the first part. Have a wonderful evening. 73. 73, stand by for second off. KA1 VRY, this is K5 TXY, Kilo 5 Tango X for Yankee. Same signal report, same park. Thanks for being out there in 73s. 73, uh, did you want to try getting other bands? Uh, if you want to, yeah. Uh, do you want to try getting ground wave for 10, 12, 15, and 17? Sounds good. Switching to 10 meters first, uh, we'll say 28-433. Uh, copy 28-433, I'll see over there. Thank you. KI-5 IRE, this is KA-1 VRY, do you copy? Copy, copy. 5-9 into uh, 7850. 5-9 into US 1940, stand by for second op. KA-1 VRY? Yeah. KA-1 VRY, K-5 TXY, 5-9 on, on 10 meters. 28, uh, copy the 5-9, uh, you're also 5-9 on 10, uh, thanks for the, uh, second band, I will be switching to, um, 12 meters here in just a second, I've got a different ham stick for that, and, um, 24-970. Copy 24-970, see you over there, man. This is Kilo Alpha 1, Victor Romeo Yankee. Got you over here. I'm guessing that's KI5IRE. Yes, sir. Okay, 5-9 into 78.50. Copy 5-9 and 78.50. Stand by for second up. And K5 TXY, 5-9 into 7850. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo. Uh, India 5, Romeo, India, India, Echo, Vic, uh, Whiskey 8, stroke 50 Kilo 4, Charlie Juliet, you're 5-9 into US 1940, QSL. QSL, QSL, copy the 5-9 into US 1940, and a correction on the call sign real quick, it's Kilo, India 5, India, Romeo, Echo. Roger on the, on the correction there, Kilo, India 5, India, Romeo, Echo. Thank you, 7-3. 7-3 and stand by for second off. Whiskey 8 slash Victor Kilo 4 Charlie Juliet. This is Kilo 5 Tango X Ray Yankee. 5 9 into Park 1940. Thanks for the new band. Have a good evening, 73s. K5 Tango X Ray Yankee. This is Kilo 4 Charlie Juliet. Portable Whiskey 8. 5 9. Thanks for my 7 3. 7 3. Alright, so we finished our activation. Now it's time to tear the antenna down. Let's do that. All you gotta do to tear the antenna down is take the BNC off, pull your strain relief off, and since I left my uh, pin here, 
I'm just gonna stick it through there. Take the banana plug out, wrap it about once. And now we're just gonna reel, whoops. You gotta kinda wrap it around once and then just kinda reel it back in slowly. Slowly reeling it back in. You just gotta let it really catch and have some room on there. And I'm just kinda reeling it back in here, carefully winding it so it doesn't fall off the sides of the spool. I think it might actually be a little bit easier to just kind of wind it by hand to me because that's what I'm kind of used to with winding up other infed half waves. But I still like the spool idea because it is definitely cool little touch that they added to it. And now I'm just gonna kind of set the uh, spool aside for a second here and just lower the antenna down. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna take my clip off, get it untangled from the uh, guy ropes of my mast. gonna roll this up like so finish winding it up nice and cleanly some of its kind of uh, twisted up actually that's on me not not the cable um, finish winding it up I gotta kind of backtrack I I messed this up a little bit but that's again operator error not their error I did that early it looks like I don't know it's good enough for me it'll it'll work perfectly fine for what we're doing for the purposes of demonstration doesn't have to be perfect could be a quick day at the park could be getting ready to storm you know, and you're just working, trying to get your park activated for storms roll in, whatever. You know, it's clean enough, only missed it once. So there we go. Now I gotta pick up my, uh, my bongo tie here. And put the bongo tie back on there and uh, cleanly wrap this thing up. And we've got, a nice and cleanly wrapped up antenna. Very fast, very efficient. Again, with that winder on here and a little thumb screw there to wind it back up on. This thing is awesome. So now that we finished putting it away, let's do some final thoughts. So all in all, I think this is a really awesome design. I really, really like this antenna. It worked really, really well actually while we were activating the park and we made quite a few contacts pretty early on. I was actually pretty shocked at how it performed versus other MFED half waves that I've used at the park. And I gotta say this thing is really, really well built. Just a couple of things that I think could be done better. Again, it's a great antenna, great build quality. I think really these, just kind of these, these tracks, these grooves here, could be just a little bit wider just to make it a little bit easier to wind up. It really deploys fast and I don't have any kind of problem rolling it out or anything like that. But when it's rolling back in, you know, you kind of miss it a little bit. So it just makes it a little bit tougher. Maybe really, I think just a couple extra millimeters would be all you need, you know. Other than that, I think this antenna is just really made well. You can, like I said, just feel it. It's, it's all aluminum and it's just, it's a great antenna. Really, really well built and great job to a KF4HUY on the design of this antenna. I really like this antenna and I think I'm probably gonna be buying one of my own here pretty soon. Thank you to Jeremy, K5TXY, Off Duty Ham Radio again. Go check out his channel. Thank you for letting me use your antenna. I appreciate it. Hope you guys go check these guys out. Spooltenna, I think it's spooltenna.com is where you can pick one of these up. I'm not affiliated with them at all. They didn't pay me or Jeremy to make this video. He picked this thing up on his own dime and allowed me to borrow it to make this review. So thank you again to Jeremy for uh, doing that. Go give his channel some love, go check him out. And until next time guys, 73.